getting all of them. I'm getting all of them. Especially that one there. Looks like we've got profita rolls. Yeah. See, the thing is, when you walk past a donut store like that, it's kind of like comparing it to um, walking down the red light district in Amsterdam. So you see this fine ass girl who's enticing you to come inside. But at the same time, you know you shouldn't. I mean, you really want to, but um, at the end, you're probably gonna regret it. Feel hmm, maybe this is too good to be true. Let me explain what I mean. When you have a donut like this, you start questioning everything. And the topic of discussion is discipline. We're gonna be reviewing this donut whilst discussing discipline. I'm trying to uh, attack both niches of self-improvement and the food review critic thing. So I would definitely consider this a guilty pleasure, but a pleasure nonetheless. So let's see how this actually goes. Sweetness just hits you immediately. It tastes like Christmas. It feels like something I don't deserve to eat. You know, I shouldn't, but I'm in heaven. But I'll probably go to hell afterwards, you know what I mean? When I wake up. So, um, this is a Lotus Biscoff. Um, I think this is butternut cream. And you got like chocolate uh, glazing on the top. That's a bit of, whip, a bit of whipped cream uh, below the biscuit, mm. right? Um, in the middle, you have, um, I think that's a Biscoff filling. So you just, it's packed with everything. You'll never get bored of this. And these donuts are baked. So they're gonna have a different taste to most, you know, average donuts you get, like Tesco or something. They're like the creme de la creme. A bit more of like a, a bit more of a high-end premium donut, right? Mm. And the standard, uh, and this, this, oh, this biscuit is so good. It's so soft as well. It's not like it's so crunchy. It kind of like blends in with the whole donut. This is what heaven sounds like, and it's what it tastes like. Now, what was I going to talk about before? Oh yeah, discipline. <laughs> as Brandon Carter said, discipline is doing what you're supposed to do whether you feel like it or not. But when this is in your face, are you really gonna be that disciplined? I always advocate being very disciplined each day. You know, every day counts, keep your diet clean. So this is why I would not only consider it a cheat day, but this is a full-blown affair, caught on camera. You know, I'm not playing around with this. Um, but okay, once in a while, once in a while you can. So, this creep is oh, I feel spoiled. I'm not even like reenacting or like trying to like say what I feel you would say in a review. This is genuinely how it, uh, what it tastes like, what the emotions I'm going through now. Now, to add on the, to that, to what we were talking about earlier about inner peace, one thing I wanted to say, and this correlates with discipline as well, is. Most of the things you think you want or need, you don't really need them. But when things are like in your face like this, again, you, you start wanting, you kind of, it gets very mouth-watering. Now I can say, okay, now I've got it, I've, you know, I've tried it, I've got it out of my system. One thing I want to question, when I take, after I take another bite, It's like cushiony, so cushiony inside. Um, if you were, and I can ask this to you then, if you were to use that, that primal energy, that lustful energy that you have, that you'd usually use to pursue women, but instead use that energy to pursue your self-growth, how far do you think you'd go? You think you'd be a millionaire? I think. Like, You'd really be attacking you. You'd be relentless. That's one word I would just summarize it, relentless. But most people can't. 
and I'm being like a hypocrite right now. Like, yeah, it's all about that discipline, bro. You know, never compromise. No one's perfect, man. It's like, I feel when people give so much advice um, on YouTube, they come across as like they have no weakness. They have no, they have no, um, yeah, no weakness. And it just, it's like, hold on a sec. You still have the fries and the two piece chicken meals when you're not recording. Don't lie. <laughs> as long as. On the majority of days, you're you're behaving well. You're a good boy, and I think then overall it should be okay. But maybe when I wake up this morning, I'll be like, oh, six pack gone. But it was worth it. That's what you guys wanted to see. <laughs> you see, it's probably the same reaction you get when watching some kind of pornography. I mean, not exactly the same, but you know what. Hashtag I mean, food you know. porn, baby. It, it, is it an affordable price, or is it only oh, for, is it only yeah. for the elite? Because it's for the elite. <laughs> Four pounds. Does. It's a bit, you know, it's more expensive than your average donut, but if you're gonna go all out on a single donut, it's a fair price. So basically, opinion. it was my train ticket coming here. Yeah, but like, <laughs> this will say, you know, you'll be good for like two weeks after that. You don't need any more sugar afterwards. Once you get to the end of it, um, start really tasting the dough. That dough flavor gets like really intense and uh, it's nice. So, it's like a cartoony feeling that you feel like a child you're eating something like first Christmas donut ever. Mm. Or how, it's, how you'd imagine it would taste like, that's exactly what it tastes like. So, taste buds are firing right now. And I can only imagine if I was, um, if I was under the influence of something, how much better this would taste. Yeah. Definitely recommended, but I wouldn't recommend it every day, obviously. Once in a year, once every five years. You're very health conscious on your diet, yeah. you uh, calibrate, you know, yes. so we'll make adjustments. It's cool. packed with the cheap, nutritious nutrients you're looking for. If you want, if you want a truly cheap, um, this donut here, well, this is, I wouldn't say it's a main meal, but it's your, it's your dessert.